Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nick Flo Show. I'm your host, Nick Flo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get past the dreaded second boss in Master Spellplay Caverns with following just two simple rules, and it starts right now. All right, and we're back everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. The main reason for this video is because the second boss can be quite the pain in the ass when you don't know what you're doing, to be honest, you know. The good thing about MSPC is that they actually threw us some boss mechanics that we actually had to think about a little bit anyways to overcome. So I know some people are still having a huge problem with falling down falling off getting frozen getting you know stun locked pretty much so with these two easy steps i'm going to show you exactly what to do now what i do personally is i like to tilt the camera up a little bit just so you can focus on the eye because there is no ads there's nothing else in the environment that can harm you so all you really want to do is focus on the eye you already know what your encounters are and how to use your at wheels so focus your camera on the eye and all you got to do is turn around now a lot of people are in the bad habit of turning the camera around but it's not the camera it doesn't matter if your camera can see the boss or not it's your actual character you have to turn your character's face away from the boss now some people say that you know walking behind the boss is easier this or that guys just look at me once I see that the eyeball pops I just turn away you turn away for two seconds yeah you're losing out on two seconds of damage per second but you know it's better than getting stunned and missing out on eight seconds you know that's way more damage loss so you know just turn around and then really um, if you can't uh, all you got to do is be in the middle of the map if you're in the middle of a map that is the safe net as if you look at the map it's a huge circle stay dead center and even if you get stunned he he won't throw you with enough distance to knock you off so just make sure you're centered make sure that you're looking at them at all times because like i said there's nothing really threatening you here you know there's nothing just the eye so boom he looks away shabam we're right back to it so nothing to it but to do it guys so there you go other than that you'll see that there's these mirrors around the dungeon so what you're going to want to do once he gets to his big form you're going to want to just simply aim him at those mirrors. The more times he strikes those mirrors, the more damage you're going to do. The more damage resistance he loses. So, you know, two really easy, simple steps. Just look away, you guys. It's super simple. I'm going to leave you with the rest of this gameplay here in the background. All right, and that's going to wrap it up, you guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like button for your boy as it really helps me out. I do Neverwinter how-to videos and Neverwinter guide videos. So, once again, thank you, and we'll catch you guys on the next Nick Flow Show. Peace.